I'm assuming that's after class, because it's not like it can be like theater on Friday. All right. Maybe. Huh? All right. So we actually need a thing of green. Sorry. What? I I completely didn't process what you just said. I said maybe. Oh, okay. Because the tension's in the morning, but All we right. still have classes. So I don't know. Red. White. Study? Yeah. And more study. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll study Friday and then we'll we'll relax, go to the theater afterwards. Yeah. What happens if we just do straight up study? We'll probably miss a lot of stuff. Oh. Yeah, but I mean like when you try to do oh what happened? A new character. Pink? Then people could tell you apart. Yeah, we've never seen whoever this is. Oh, rain! Hey, Luke! You go on for a bit. I need to talk to Rain about something. Oh god, we didn't ask this time. Sure. Yeah, good enough. We'll never see him again. Catch up with you later, man. He poses nonchalantly while his roommate walks away, but once Luke's out of sight, his face falls. So, you talked to my brother. What do you say about me? They're both technically true, aren't they? Yeah. And even then, he doesn't give you a straight answer, so it's not like too much can go on here. Well, I, I guess it does give you a straight answer, but it's not what he was looking for. Yeah. Like I wanted I'm to not, ask him more, but then he just walked away. I'm like not gonna say I'm not gonna say I haven't had the chance, because uh, technically I did have the chance. I just chose to talk about and it. And then he walked away. Yeah. I'm just so, gonna. <sighs> Where's option C? <laughs> I say I say option A because technically that's still true because you had, you didn't have the chance because he just Cause walked I, away. Because I had to ask him about something else and he walked away. Yeah. yeah. I haven't really had a chance to talk to him. I don't see him that much. Right. He doesn't believe us. Sorry, I bothered you. Oh. I feel slightly bad now. You could have dated that. I don't want to date that, but I don't want to make him sad. I want to help everyone, Tim. It's not my fault <sighs> if they try to start dating me because I'm nice to them. Well, uh, stop being <laughs> nice to them, then. It's like, Donald, you're a jerk. <laughs> He's <Broke> like, <laughs> no, nah, you shouldn't be mean to Donald because then he'll leave cat poo on your, outside your door. Um, no, 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 no. That just means he's, you know... Mm, we can make people. Up. We can make people sick now. Apparently. Yay. I don't know. Da, 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 da. I'm getting ready for dinner when someone knocks on the door. Hey. Hi guys. What's up? Well, earn some easy merits. Could it's like you all you have to do is take off your clothes and let's take some pictures of you. Oh no. Gee. You went there, not me. <laughs> it's just, that is so shady sounding. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I want to know what skeebie has got. Doing what? See, look at that. She's like, I don't know. Butching and baking and candlestick making. See, now you changed his voice. Now it's still sing. Okay. <laughs> He's got more of a <laughs> now. Sounds it's like, like my hand. <laughs> He's got braces. Oh. <laughs> uh, butching and baking and candlestick making. Butching? That's not the right word. It should be. She's a horse. She's so fat. You ever been kicked by one? What did you want me to do again? Candlestick making! He already said. Are you in or not? Sure. You can get rid of some demerits. He probably feels better when getting us some demerits, so he... He didn't get us any merits, he just got us detention. Yeah, but but still, he I guess he feels like he owes us. But the mischievous music's playing. I feel like this is gonna go horribly wrong. Then just back out. 
I'm backing out. I, no, I mean like afterward. No. I'm backing out. I'm sorry if it makes him sad. I'm doing it. Um, I'll pass. Okay, it didn't, make him, it didn't upset him. He's like, thought I'd ask. I wonder what they're up to. Ah, we failed at studying. We Our curiosity, we couldn't focus. Success! But we didn't fail at studying the second time. Yeah. Ellen and I meet outside the gym. There are a lot of people here, not just students, but ordinary people and families who must have driven up here to see the play. After we buy our tickets, we can go inside. It played the sad noise, and that was just because it took money away, but like, it didn't do that when, I, when we bought the wand. So I was like, did I just lose a stat? <laughs> and I got confused. Folding chairs have been set up in rows across the gym, flo ah, across the gym floor facing the stage. Behind the stage, a giant backdrop painting hangs on the wall, displaying mar ah, displaying marble pillars and steps to suggest a fan. Ah. I can't read for some reason. All of a sudden, a fantasy of ancient Greece. At least it looks like a painting. It's probably an illusion. That's got to be a lot easier than having to paint something so huge. We find a place to sit without anyone too tall in front of us. After a while, the show begins. And then someone sits in front of you. Dot dot dot. It was every bit as tragic as Ellen suggested. And bloody. <laughs> and bloody too. Nice special effects though. Effects? Well, they were using magic, so... I'll have... I'll have no fury like a woman scorned. Uh oh, the play gave her ideas. Isn't that Shakespeare? No. It was someone else. I just stole it. He, just, no. he just stole it from someone else. Duh. Cosgrove, I think. From the morning bride. So what's that one about? Another story of murder and revenge? Sort of. It's complicated. Let me see if I can remember. The rebel leader kidnaps the princess, but then they fall in love with each other and get secretly married. But then when... There's a shipwreck, and she's watched up on alone, and is rescued by her father, the king. So the king wants to marry her off to his ally, and she doesn't dare tell him that she's already married to his enemy. She thinks the rebel fellow is dead anyway. So, only he's not, because he's washed up somewhere else, and rescued by a queen who falls in love with him, and the king falls in love with the queen. But they're enemies. I like this. <laughs> She's like, she looks excited. Like, yeah, I'm telling stories. I don't know. So everyone loves someone who loves someone else, and they're all trying to murder the other person that they think has betrayed them, and and then they feel guilty and try to change their minds. Well, that got dark. <laughs> oh, it can get darker. <laughs> Only it's too late because the plot has already. Plots are already in motion, and they all end up killed by their own assassins. Damn. So the moral is, I guess, that revenge is dangerous. Or else, don't change your mind. Or else, <laughs> never fall in love. <laughs> Even if a man treated me like Jason, I would never do what Medid did. <laughs> well, of course you wouldn't do that. But if I would someone... Just Sorry? I would just steal from them. <laughs> like, i just take their wallet. And maybe their car keys. <laughs> and their soul. But if someone I love betrayed me... Eh. They should be punished! <laughs> nah, I'd rather forget it. Being betrayed is terrible, but trying to get revenge would only make things worse. It wouldn't fix anything that had already happened. You'd just make more people unhappy. That's the idea. The only way to make things better is to forget you ever loved them and move on. Then eventually it won't hurt anymore. Eventually. Anyways, thanks for coming with me. No problem. Oh hey, I have some ointment. <laughs> it's very creamy. It's not anti-venom though. Or did you forget that dream? Uh, I, I thought it was ointment. I thought, no, it was anti-venom. Okay. <laughs> That's why I was even more like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really kind of wish I knew what that dream was, even though it's kind of weird, out of context. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything to it. Yeah, probably not. 
Ellen gets up early Saturday morning, as usual, but while the mail and allowances arrive, she doesn't return to the room. What should I do today? Study. Yeah. We're broke. Compared to the... Oh, we're studying in the library today. Mm. That's a new one. Compared to the rest of the school, the library is fairly small and unimpressive. They have magazines, apparently. Mm. There's a slightly outdated set of encyclopedias, Ellen didn't really need to bring her own, and a good collection of foreign language dictionaries, plus two bookcases filled with books about magic and witch history. Most of the rest looks like fiction with a, ha with a rack of popular magazines. The school actually subscribes to those? There aren't that many people in here on a Saturday, but looking around I see... Minnie. Oh, what was you, her voice? You voiced her, but I don't remember. Uh, uh, sorry, she only had like one line. Well, it's just the one day she gave us some announcement in the hall. Like she yeah. told us about something in the hall and then wandered off. Yeah, like, like be careful of the toilet or something like that. I don't even remember. Hi, Rain! <laughs> Alright. I, I think that's what she had. Maybe. I, I remember, I want to say it was squeaky. Hi, Rain! But I don't remember how you did it. I don't do squeaky, though. Well, it wasn't really squeaky, but it was kind of like... Hi, Rain! Nah. Let's go with the first one. Hi, Rain! Do you need help with anything? Do I need help with anything? Do we want to get to know her better? Sure, why not? Alright. Minnie helps me out with my white magic. Oh, I guess she boosts your lowest stat. White magic and smarts increased by one. Stress increases by four. I'll take it though. We got smarts and magic upgrease. Yeah. That was nice. I guess we didn't get to know her any better, but she's sweet. a okay. She gives stat boosts. <laughs> Let's go back to the library. <laughs> Carry her on your shoulder. <laughs> Bring her to class. <laughs> she boosts my intelligence by plus three. Yeah. She's an accessory now. We can wear. <laughs> It's like she rides on her shoulders like piggyback. It's like you've equipped the Minnie. monkey on your back. <laughs> oh. Hey Rain, can I have that monkey? It doesn't matter what you say, because I'm just gonna steal it later. I mean, you didn't hear that. <laughs> Early on Monday, all the freshmen are get uh, are called together. Good morning, buttercups. Mm, my Reese's dessert. <laughs> the Thanksgiving break begins this week after class on Tuesday. There will be no further scheduled activities until Monday, the 2nd of December. You know, with all these weeks we've been having without classes, I might not have been able to get mag white magic up high enough for this next test. So even if I wanted to go that path, it's like, oh man, they're not giving me a lot of leeway, are they? If you are studying through the break, the library will be open and meals will be served at regular times, as well as the feast on Thursday and some organized activities. If you are leaving and you need to leave before tomorrow evening and you haven't already made arrangements, please talk to me after assembly. Hey, we'll probably get to hang out with Ellen since she's not going home. Yes. Now, there is one more thing. Why do you look all sad when you say that? Someone stole my bucket of spare noses. <laughs> For those of you who are wild seeds, if you are leaving, this will be your first time away from the comfort and protection of Iris Academy. You are witches and wizards, and the people around you out there are not. You don't want to be like them, do you? <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> One of us. One of us. They can't leave the doors locked. They can't leave. <laughs> the choice that you made three years ago still stands. Oh, they're just like, you don't you talk. <laughs> you must not reveal our secrets to the outside world. You must not discuss or display magic in front of anyone who is not one of us. You know, now I think I can see why people wouldn't stay. Because they'd have to, like, keep it secret. And they wouldn't really be able to talk about everything that's been going on to other people. So, 
it'd probably be really awkward trying to socialize with people who weren't in the magic world. Yeah, you think too small. Too small. Not your old friends, not your families, no one. If you betray our trust, you will not be allowed to return. It's like, we have ways of finding this out. Everybody, mandatory torture session in the dungeons before you go back to classes. Uh. And we would miss you. Except for Mr. Grabby Pants. Now, I'm sure you have a busy week ahead of you, so I'll get on with your schedules. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh... I, I want so, double blue. So limited. Well, I want to do a blue. Because I think blue should be high. Yeah. Should we sleep this week? We have days on end. Oh, yeah, yeah. What am I thinking? The stress should go down on those days off, probably. Yeah. Let's just, uh... Let's double up on blue. Okay. Good thing I doubled up on blue. You failed. Damn. You're a failure. I wish I knew what makes that. I mean, maybe it is just the more stress you have, the higher chance you'll fail, but some weeks it's like, it's not always the same classes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not like some classes are harder to learn than others, it's just... If I have your attention, please... Take hold of each other's hands and close your eyes. We will give thanks to parents who created us and the friends who helped us grow, to the earth which nurtures us, and the other worlds which inspire us. And hell which inspires us. I like this music though. For what we have been given and for what we what we have to give for those who have taken us in when we have when we were in need for forgiveness and for the hope of renewal many uh, may our tributes bring joy and may no call go unanswered in this thanksgiving season so may it be Hands pull away from mine as other students echo her words. Have, have a very happy holiday. The ritual has begun. <laughs> well, now I can hang up my cape, find my parents, and be on my way. Oh, I have to leave? Damn it. School will be waiting for me when I get back. <laughs> 